guys, we're out here today with the Stealth 16, a perfect van for that couple who wants all the creature comforts, massive storage, and an easy setup. Let's jump in and have a look at all the standard inclusions featured in this van. Standard on all our Jawa models is the DO35 coupling. We have the ARC 750 jockey wheel. We've got our drawbar tap as well. Got our custom front tool, oversized toolbox for jerry can holders, two nine kilo gas bottles, and extra storage as well as your diesel tank for your diesel heater. Standard in the Stealth 16, we've got the 95 litre Evercool down under series two fridge freezer. Our two pantry boxes on the front, and we've added in this Stealth 16 model a nice long storage drawer. Above that, we have our pole box that goes all the way through to the other side. As we come underneath, we are under a 4.5 metre awning. We have our tray table with our new little light inside it. Your 24 inch smart TV. And the Stealth 16 now has one big open pantry to utilise more storage space as well as a bigger slide out pantry drawer. Still have your dish rack, slide out kitchen, your four burner and your small prep bench area. Standard in your Stealth model, we have your Lovell springs and shocks, your Japanese Koyo bearings and your off-road magnets. We've also got your 16 inch rims on your choice of all-terrain or mud-terrain tyres. At the rear of the Stealth 16 we have dual spare wheels and bike rack holder rated up to 30 kilos. We've also gone with nice big Eurovision 2 tinted windows so you have plenty of ventilation. Standard inclusion for our hot water system we've gone with the Truma AquaGo which is instantaneous hot water. We've got our outdoor shower as well as our kick ass shower tent, water fillage and our new storage box inside here with plenty of storage. See. It's got plenty of room in there for your camping chairs, camping mats, shades. We have our pole box from the other side continuing all the way through. And our generator or barbecue slide. Just sliding that out. Which also has a small cutlery or tool drawer. Now that we've checked on all the outside, let's jump in and have a look at what's on the inside. As you can see, we've got plenty of ventilation up the top end, so we get that airflow through, as well as our range of fans standard to push that airflow around. Got our generous size king bed with small storage places, one up the back, as well as one down the side here. You'll also find there's many USB and 12 volt sockets throughout the van. as well as your TV bracket for watching TV internally. Got our two-person sofa seat. Underneath that, you'll find your diesel heater. Now we've used the Eva Spatcher diesel heater. This is a German brand diesel heater. So you'll have warranty in Australia with that. Uh, full two-year warranty as well. Plenty of storage inside with your double cupboard as well as slide out drawers. And drop down, down the bottom. Under the bed, you'll find our 12 volt system, but we'll have a better look at that outside. On the roof of the Stealth 16, we have the Dometic dust reduction system, your air conditioner, as well as 600 watts of solar. Your internal ensuite comes with a Thetford toilet, dry area storage for your toilet paper and toothbrushes, all that stuff you don't want to get wet while showering, and shower rose holder up the top. Self 16 has your sink outside of the shower, which can be utilised as bench space when not in use. We still have more internal storage up the front end here. as well as down below. You can 
also see your panel for your 12 volt and resettable breakers. Your Stealth 16 has your Furion head unit which you can Bluetooth or listen to the radio on. In here we have our electric roof lift. All we're doing is pushing the button and that will bring the roof up or down. So I want to talk about the 12 volt setup in this van. We have used the highest quality product. So we've used a full Enerdrive 12 volt setup here. So let's talk a little bit about the batteries to begin with. We have two 200 amp lithium batteries standard in this. Uh, Enerdrive use A grade cells and these are installed in house at our workshop once the van arrives to us. These batteries can be monitored through their Bluetooth app but they are also monitored through the ePro, which we'll get into a bit down the line. They do have their flat battery reset, as well as you can use the charger to kickstart these if they do run flat. Along with having this two 200s, we have a 3000 watt 100 amp inverter charger. So with having such a big inverter and a lot of battery power, you can run your aircon while you are off grid as well as other products. So you've got up to 3000 watts. This is a pure sine wave inverter. And when you are charging the van, this charger will charge the van up to a max 100 amps an hour. So if you do happen to run flat, 400 amps, we'll be charging these back up to full in four hours, which is great if you are on the road. It's little time using the Jenny, whereas other manufacturers are using small 25 amp charging and 35 amp charging and you'll be out there for hours trying to recharge so you can use your fridge and stuff again. With all these products, you'll see here, there is a five year warranty on all this Enerdrive gear installed by us, as well as lifetime tech support. So if you do find yourself with a question, you can pick up the phone, contact the Enerdrive techs, contact us at Jawa, or even jump on the Enerdrive Facebook group. Plenty of people asking questions in there as well as getting helpful tips and tricks for their Enerdrive setup. Moving on, there's 600 watts of solar on the roof and that's looked after by the MPPT solar controller. So all 600 watts regulates in that. We've added that as a standard feature so that when we've got our DC to DC here, you can utilize the portable solar panels into the Anderson plug and plug another 600 watts. So you can have 600 watts from the roof and 600 watts plugged into the external Anderson plug with a total of 1200 watts. What will also happen is the MPPT looking after the roof solar, when you choose to plug into your car to get back on the road, this will still take care of the roof solar and this will then take care of the car. So you can be feeding up to a max of 40 amps at a time through the DC-DC through your car input and the solar will be looked after by the MPPT and on a perfect day, we're probably looking around 29, 30 amps coming in from that 600 watts. All this is then monitored by your Enerdrive ePro Plus. So there's a shunt where all your electrics is running through. The ePro Plus is going to give you a readout of your socks or your state of charge. So it's where you're sitting in the percentage. It'll show you how much you're pulling in or putting out, basically. It'll add everything up, what's coming in, what's going out. And it'll give you a reading here. It will tell you how many hours you've got left if you are looking uh, at using something in a high power supply. As well as, you, like I said, you can use the Bluetooth monitoring app to keep an eye on the batteries individually as well. So once again, here's your 12 volt Enerdrive setup. We haven't tried to skimp and save a few dollars. We've made sure you have the best products in your van so you can be out on the road for a long time and know that you have peace of mind while off grid. The Stealth 16 has a 4.5 metre awning fitted to it. Comes standard with anti-flat bars, which are perfect for days like today to run a shade out over the fridge end or a windbreak over the kitchen end. It also comes standard with an annex, so you can place it up for wet weather conditions. With so many standard inclusions, let's recap what the Stealth 16 has as standard features. So the electrical system, the Enerdrive setup, 400 amps of lithium power, so we've got two 200 amp Enerdrive BTEC batteries, the Enerdrive Combi 3000 watt inverter with 100 amp AC charger, we've got the Enerdrive ePower 40 amp DC to DC smart charger, we've got the Enerdrive MPPT solar controller, 
We've got the 600 watts of glass solar panels and the Enerdrive EPRO Plus battery monitor. We've also got the additional Anderson plug for portable panels and all of this gear comes standard with five years warranty and lifetime tech support. Heating, we've got the Ebus Spatcher Airtronic diesel heater and the Truma Aquago instantaneous hot water, both carrying two year warranties as well. We've got the Wabasto 2400 watt roof mounted aircon and the two Ranger cooling fans, both with two years warranty. We've got the electric roof lift push button actuators, two years warranty. Underneath, we've got the two water tanks, 120 litres and the one 80 litre grey water tank. The inclusions don't stop there, guys. With the suspension, we've got fully off-road independent suspension with two level springs, five years warranty. We've got the four levels off-road shock absorbers, three year warranty. Running the Koyo bearings, the off-road magnets and a laser level wheel alignment is done in-house. Entertainment, we have the Jawa 24 inch smart TV, got the Engleon roof mounted antenna, Furion head deck, and these all come with two years warranty as well. On the roof, the Dometic dust reduction system. Outside, we've got the external 95 litre Evercool fridge freezer and your cooking, we've got the four burner external cooktop. What this van weighs, 2370, including the aircon and including the external fridge. You can load this up to 2990, giving you a 620 kilo payload. Ball weight, we've got 255 when dry. Length, just under seven meters. Your width, just under 2.5. Travel height 2.55 and extended we've got 2.92. Your drawbar 150 by 50 by 4 Q345 steel. And there we have it guys, the walkthrough of the Stealth 16. Hopefully that shows you why there is a difference when you purchase a Jawa off-road camper so that you and your family can hit the road in confidence and journey Australia with attitude.